ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about the A World Awakened Meta Achievement in Dragonflight. And I'll give you some tips on how to make this easier along with all the other meta achievements connected to it. But keep in mind this is not a full guide. Pretty sure you can find plenty of those online. Those are just my top 5 tips on how to make the meta achievements much easier. So let's get started. The best advice that I can give you is get as many tools as possible to help you along the journey because there's a lot of ground to be covered and the more add-ons and weak auras that you have to help you, the easier it's going to be. On the top of my list with recommendation is an add-on called Handy Notes. You can find the link for that in the description of this video and it's going to put markers and icons on your map. With everything that's important, including listing some of the achievements in the two tips once you hover over the icons. There's also an option button added and once you click it you can select everything that you want to be shown or not shown in the map, including tracking some of the achievements of interest. I find this extremely helpful as you might be in an area doing whatever and you can see an icon popping right next to you for certain achievement, for certain rare and you can just kill it and shorten your list of to do items by just simply doing so. Another huge helper is yet another add on, this time it's called rare scanner and this one is going to pop up an icon and make a sound every time there's something important around you, a rare spawn, a chest, an expedition dig pack, etc. This will not only make sure that you don't miss chests around you, but it can also send notifications for a rare that spawns on the other end of the map, so you can fly there and kill it quickly. There's of course a lot more add-ons and weak cores that you can research, but let's also mention Wowhead, which is not only a good source of information, but the homepage has an area that lists everything important happening right now in the game including the start times of important events like the Grand Hearn, the Elemental Storms, which are actually connected to the meta achievements. So I would recommend to keep an eye on it, as you might find some very useful information there. The next big tip is start as early as possible, and by that I mean now, because some of these achievements could be very annoying and they could take a lot of time. So in order to complete them, just search for the main achievement called A World Awoken. Hopefully you have many of these completed already, but then click on the ones that you haven't completed and then keep clicking until you find everything that you need to complete. Some of them are going to be easy, but some of them are actually time gated. There's reputations that you need to farm and some of them are gated behind weekly events. There's daily quests that you can do, but you can do them only once per day, so you need multiple days to complete those. And there might be items that you need to obtain, but they're available only from an event once per week. I'll go through some of the harder ones later on, but keep in mind there's also a ton of quests that you need to do and if you haven't completed those yet, everything could be a little bit overwhelming in the beginning. Do not be scared though, just start somewhere and you slowly get to the achievements that you not complete instantly. Make a list of those and mark every achievement that you not complete as either something that you need to do daily or to do weekly. Save this list somewhere and every time you log in just go through those items. This is very important because not only you'll be making progress towards many of the achievements that take a lot of time, but you also make sure that you're not missing something and you're falling behind way too far. Now that you have the list, you have to go out there and start doing things, but before that, go to the Dragon Scale Base Expedition Cap in the Waking Shores and talk to the cataloger Jakes to buy some shovels. They are relatively cheap and once you have them and you start flying around doing quests and achievements, make sure to loot every chest that you see and kill every rare and mob around you, even if you think that you don't need them. Just to give you a few examples, the shovels you need for the disturbed dirts around the area, which can drop maps for some of the treasures that you need in the different areas. The two scar boxes on the other hand do not drop these, but you should still loot them because they drop bait so you can lure some of the lunkers that you need for different achievement. If you've already killed a rare but it spawns next to the map near you, you should still kill it because it can drop either items that you need for different achievements or just resources or a reputation for some other ones. 
at the end of the day, even if they don't drop anything, you're still getting some gold. And trust me, I actually got a lot of gold just by looting two scar boxes, doing all the quests and even getting some items for the auction house. One of the more annoying achievements is going to be the Storm Chaser. Every 3 hours a storm spawns in one of the original dragonflight areas and the storm can be one of 4 types, earth, fire, water, etc. And you have to do every single type of storm in every single location. The problem with this is that Azure Span has 3 locations and all the other areas have less, so almost every other storm is actually in the Azure Span. You complete that set easily but then you'll be left with a couple of other storms in different locations that you won't be able to finish just because they don't spawn for you. So back to Ohad, if you don't have this achievement completed, you can track when the next storm is going to be active and once it's active you can check the location and the type. So keep an eye on there because as mentioned previously some of the storms are very rare and if one of them is active and you're online you don't want to miss it. Also, if you're using handy nodes, you can also see that on your map you can hover over an active storm and you're going to see whether or not you have completed the achievements for that specific storm. Now, the achievement itself is to kill 200 empowered mobs in that storm and keep in mind that this is going to take you anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes depending on how geared you are. So make sure to start early if you need one of them and it's currently active. Basically every zone in the dragon house has its own achievement but the one that's probably slowest and most annoying is the forbidden reach. I'll let you find the struggles of the other zones on yourself but for this one there are a few tips that can help you speed up the process and even succeed at the end. And the first thing that you should do when you get here is talk to the dragon scale expedition envoy and buy a scroll of perceptions which allows you to find treasures, small treasures around the forbidden reach. And then talk to the Voldraken Envoy who's going to sell you another item, the Scrying Crystal, which increases the chance for you to find scrolls around the Forbidden Reach. Both of these buffs last for one hour, so make sure to renew them when they expire. And you need them because the scrolls are actually an achievement, you have to gather 50 of them and they have very very low drop rates. That's why my advice is to come to this zone when you have a little bit of free time, just fly around and gather some of the treasures which can also contain the scrolls and have a separate achievement of their own. You can also look for the custom group section and find groups to help you either hyper spawn and farm mobs to get the scrolls or any other achievement that you need can actually be found there. For example, when you have to fish the lunkers, it's faster to get a group going and do it together and I've also gotten some help for the store achievements there as well. Another quick forbidden reach tip, there are a few rares which are summoned by profession specific items, which of course you need to kill for an achievement, but those items you can actually buy on the auction house even if you don't know the specific profession, then you can use them on the designated spots, summon the radars and kill them to easily get that achievement. And last but not least there is a librarian achievement in the Forbidden Reach where you have to find a few books and there are three books that are actually inside of the Zascara vaults. One of them is actually quite rare so make sure to zone in there every week and use your anomaly detection which you can find in your spellbook. Once you do that and you look up you see the vaults that actually have the books, right now everything is empty for me because I already looted them this week but this is going to save you a lot of time and the need to open every single door to find where the books are. If you don't have the Zascara Vaults one, definitely add this to your to-do list because it could take a while to find that rare book. So those are my top 5 tips for the A World Awoken achievement, meta achievement in Dragonflight. Do let me know if you find this video useful in the comments below and if you have some other very useful tips in that regard. Thank you very much for watching, happy achievement hunting, I'll see you in the next video, now get out of here.